from CBS News, it's The Early Show. All right, when it comes to comfort food, this week's chef on a shoestring is the king. Michael Ferraro is executive chef at two adjoining restaurants in downtown New York, Delicatessen and Mac Bar, where the food is all about feeling good. And at Mac Bar, he offers no less than 12 variations of macaroni and cheese. And this morning, he'll prepare a mac and cheese dish that you voted for under our chef on a shoestring budget of $40. Great to see you, chef. Nice to see you also. And tell me what we're preparing today. Well, we have some great fall comfort food dishes. Uh, this morning, we're going to start with a pumpkin salad that's roasted. Uh, with a little bit of frisee. We're gonna make the lobster mac and cheese. That's what everyone voted for, lobster right. mac and cheese. And we are gonna finish with a uh, lobster mac and cheese there. And then um, we have a roasted apple and pumpkin tart. Awesome. All right. So, All right, so here's our salad. What do we need to do? Okay, so we have our roasted uh, pumpkin here, okay? Basically, we toss it with uh, garlic, shallot, fresh thyme. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna put that onto the pan there. And you buy the pumpkin at the store, are you buying this whole as a, as a full pumpkin? Yes, um, okay. you wanna go for a small pumpkin, a Got sugar it. pumpkin. They're a little bit more sweeter than large, dense. Um, we're gonna put that into the oven. That goes in about 350 degrees, mm -hmm. just until it's nice and caramelized like this. Um, we are gonna put the pumpkin on the bottom of the plate there. So here's our finished product. Yeah. And you're making it look beautiful. Yes. And then what are we adding to this pumpkin after we put it on the plate? Uh, we have some frisee here. Okay. Okay. Which is kind of a, is that a bitter lettuce? It is. Um, it's a part of the chicory family. Mm -hmm. The bitterness of it pairs really well with the sweetness of the pumpkin. Okay. Here we have a little whole grain mustard and sherry vinaigrette mm -hmm. that we're gonna put over the top there. Okay. Um, we also have some pickled shallots. Mm. Um, How do you pickle shallots? Uh, this is white wine vinegar, uh, sugar, salt, and some uh, nice fall spices there. Um, also, it, the sweetness of this pairs really well with the pumpkin. We're gonna finish And then it. these are some crispy onions? Yes, uh, no, this is the oh. celery root. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. How do you, so you just get celery root and you put it on top here for yep. the finishing touch. Exactly, and then we have a little bit of chive oil here. That's beautiful. Okay. Some nice color, nice chive flavor there. I'm gonna try that. Let us, right. Let's go on to what the people voted for, All the right. macaroni and cheese. Tell us what you're doing. So we have uh, blanched pasta here. We're just gonna put it into the hot water just to warm it up again. Mm-hmm. Okay, that goes in. And That's again, delicious, you, by the way. Thank you. Again, you want the pasta to be fully cooked. Okay. okay. How long is that usually? Uh, for the elbow pasta in rolling, boiling, salted water, it's about uh, seven to eight minutes. Okay, because it's a big pet peeve of mine when it comes out and it's a little too mushy or what have you. Yeah. And then you're putting in the frying pan, some yep. ingredients that you're frying up. A little garlic shallot. Here we have our nice tender uh, lobster chunks. That's gonna go in there. And you buy that frozen or? No, uh, okay. we use a lot of fresh, fresh lobsters, yeah, to supply at Mac Bar there. We go through a lot of it. Um, here we have our, uh, it's a mascarpone fontina in white cheddar sauce. Um, we're just gonna finish that with a little bit more fontina. Whisk that in. Does it matter in terms of the cheeses that you're using? Is it preferential? Are there particular cheeses that work better for mac and cheese? Um, I go with a white base sauce here. I go with stuff a little bit more mild, like the mascarpone doesn't overpower the lobster. Mm. So it pairs really well. Looks beautiful. Okay. Want a nice, a good amount of cheese sauce in there. So you actually want to douse basically oh, the yeah. lobster in the cheese sauce yeah. first before mixing in the pasta. That's a key for good mac and cheese. You need enough sauce and you need enough cheese on top. Good ratio. Yeah. So our pasta goes right in. Okay. Toss that around a bit. We're going to put a final seasoning of some salt and pepper. Here we have a little bit of lobster stock. Okay. This mm -hmm. is just uh, basically. What does that come from? Can you buy that at the store? Um, you might be able to at some gourmet markets. Um, if not, you can use a fish stock or a vegetable stock okay. as well. Also, it just really brings up the lobster flavor in it. I'm going to give over here. This is our finished product. I'm going to give that a taste test and have you tell people about the dessert All as right. well, which is this tart right here. Yeah, this is a apple tart, and we have a cinnamon crumble on it. Yep, that's our finished uh, bake mac there. Mm, and we're gonna delicious. finish the apple tart with a nice scoop of uh, vanilla ice cream. Looks beautiful. All right. 
And the items that go into the apple tart, you have some sugar, flour, that type of thing? Um, yes, we have butter, um, sugar, flour. You need more cheese. Chris is excited to get out of the action. Yeah. Yeah. Straight you need more dessert. cheese. You need more cheese. Right. Is yeah. okay to so dig this in? is the one that everybody voted for this week. Yes. This is this the mac and cheese with lobster. And let's see how you did overall mm. with okay. the doing it under $40. All right. Oh, all right, you did 39.51 with lobster <laughs> included. You came in just under budget. You didn't make the leaderboard, but you know you, you were dealing with lobster. How do no, you get in uh, at the no. leaderboard with lobster? Exactly. It's hard to do. <laughs> and you know, what we need to do? Some of our Lady Gaga guys could use some cheese <laughs> and some macaroni. <laughs> Too many midriffs in the background. And of course, our Lady Gagas, while well, they're enjoying that, it's time now for you to decide what is on the menu for next uh, week. Here are your choices. Hmm. Penne with sausage and broccoli, Rob. For that, you're just going to call Star Star Zero One. If you prefer carne asada tacos, just call Star Star Zero Two. And remember, you don't have to text, you just have to dial, you have to make it as a phone call. For panini with arugula and pesto, simply wow. call Star Star Zero Three. Standard data and message rates it's do apply. It's just that easy, folks. It's just yeah. that Just simple. that easy. The people's choice. I like that broccoli, Rob. We do. <laughs> Early vote is in. Panini wins. I think I'm going to go for the broccoli, Rob, also. <laughs> we really appreciate you being here with us, <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank guys. you so much. Thank you. And you can find Michael's recipe at cbsnews.com slash Saturday. Chef Michael, thanks so much.